Let's start by looking at this screen. We're currently in the story view. In the middle of the screen, we have a slide. Something else to note is that if you're finding that slides are advancing by themselves, so when you preview or publish a course, after five seconds or so, it moves to the next slide, it's because this bit here has been selected as being automatic. So you want slide advances to be left as by user. There's lots of functions at the top, but it's best to go into the slide to explain these. So to go into the slide, double click on it, and then the slide opens up. Looks a lot like PowerPoint, so if you're familiar with PowerPoint, then you'll be familiar with a lot of the functionalities on here. It's a blank slide, but I can use templates, and I'll cover those shortly. If I go into Insert, I can add in a text box. I can, again, if I go into Insert, I can add in Shapes. Shapes can be formatted, so I can change the color of them however I wanted. Lots of things can be done. I can apply effects such as a shadow. With the text, as you'd expect, I can then change the font if I wanted to. I can change the styling of it, the size of it, and everything like that. So it has all the features that you'd expect. Other things, you've got captions. So I'll add in a caption. So this is you know, like a speech bubble. And again, you can add text in there as well. You've also got things such as transitions. So this is going to the next slide. So again, like in PowerPoint, you can have a different transition going to the slide. I've got animations. So I'll have an object selected. Go to animations and then choose the type of animation that I want. So I want this object to fly in from the right. If you have animated an object, it has a little star next to it, so you can see that it's going to be an animated object. To add in a new slide, click on this chain link icon, go to new slide, you've got the content library, which is the, the templates. You've also got, if you've saved any templates, you've got basic layout, so you could add in a title and content, title only, blank, any of these ones. So let's add in a title and content. And there you go, you can see that we've got a second slide that's being added in. Here's a title. So we'll call it page one intro. Add in the text. Notice though, the first slide is untitled slide and the second slide is page one intro. That's the name that we gave it. If you want to give a slide a name, right click on it, rename, call it introduction, press return, and there we go. We've now given it a name. The reason that this one here came up with a name was because this top part was a title. So again, much like in PowerPoint, if you have any title bits and you put the title in, it will appear there as a title of the slide. Other things to be aware of on the screen, on the, so the left hand side we have the slides, along the top we have story view which is where we began and we have the slide that we're on. You might have multiple slides along the top here once you've opened up quite a few. On the right hand side you have triggers, we'll cover that in detail at some point. Down the bottom we have slide layers, so slide layers are just extra layers on each slide. So rather than going to a different slide every time, you could click on something and open up a layer. Again, we'll cover that in detail. Towards the bottom, we have the timeline. The timeline shows all of the different elements on the screen and also when they'll start and when they'll finish. So you can have different things coming in at different times. Along the top, an important button is the preview button. So this will actually show us what the slide looks like once it's launched. We have publish and we'll go into detail on that. And we also have player. So player is the controls for the user. So whether they've got the navigation buttons, whether they have the title slides down the left hand side of the course and things like that when they're playing it. Again, we'll go into detail. 